Aha! I knew I had feather falling boots somewhere. Ah, and they were in the closet, right where they belong. Martha would be so proud of me putting things away where they belong again and actually being able to find things so that I can continue to build the zoo. Ah. But hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and today we are going to be building a rope bridge! I am so excited! It is not actually going to be made out of rope though because last time we discovered these wooden grates that you can cover with vines! You can actually cover these things with vines which I think is just like one of the best pieces of news that I have stumbled on in ages and I think they're gonna make a really great bridge um, it's definitely going to be interesting to like kind of span it over a gigantic chasm so that we can lead our way to Tata's Overlook and eventually to Tata's Temple, but it's so easy to make these grates, much easier than the other ways that I was going to try to make a gigantic rope bridge, and I'm hoping we can even make something simple but effective to keep from falling off of them with maybe some jungle post fences. I think that might look the best. So we're gonna make a bunch of jungle post fences and try that out. And if that just doesn't really look the best, we might try something else, but I think it'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. And I also have my feather falling boots. So even if it's not fine and it proves to be very full of doom and oh, thank you, Lala very much for another peafowl egg. I will have to release all of these babies into the jungle at some point in the future. And hey, Lily. Okay, you can you can watch Lily, but I think it's going to make you a little nervous to see what I'm about to get up to. Uh, but let's come over. I need all of my jungle wood then if we're going to make some posts so that I don't fall to my doom uh, from that spot. Oh, thank goodness. We have a ton of jungle wood. This should actually be I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. So we'll take all this and then hopefully I have a ton of string. I started to get a bunch of string from my Spanish moss here, but I might need to go down into the storage chamber and grab more string. We'll have to see how much we need. But all right, so the way you do this, jungle wood post, jungle wood post, where are you? There you are, is you need the jungle post so I think Glorious Grafter should make, yeah, a bunch of jungle posts. Oh, wow, we may not need as much jungle wood as I thought. And then, is it like this? No, jungle wood posts. Oh, very close though. And then like that, okay. Now I just need to turn the Spanish moss into string. And this is not quite gonna make me as many as I hoped, but, I think that's a good experimental start in our jungle wood uh, post because these are going to be what we use. I think that'll be pretty good. And as long like they're also fences. So as long as I don't fall to my doom, that's kind of the big goal here. So hopefully that'll work out. Um, oh, and I need to give these carrot seeds to the Henry's in a little bit. Let me eat some of my applesauce because I'm getting a little hungry. <laughs> Lily, where did you go? Lily girl! Lily girl! I have no idea where she went. Oh, but that reminds me, I do want to actually spruce up the Henry's garden. Not right now, but I have these notes on my wonderful- Oh, and last time I just remembered I forgot to write in my joy journal. I gotta get better about that. All right, so then uh, we discovered these really cool uh, wooden fence things that you can cover in vines. Perfect for our rope bridge project and leafy greenery for the win. <laughs> I am so excited guys. Oh, it's so nice to have a little spring joy journal to fill out too. Uh, but man, I mean, wasn't that a great discovery? This is gonna make it so much easier to build everything we're going after. And then over here, expand the Henry garden to look a little tidier. That's something we can work on when I come back and want to do projects around the house. I love being able to have a place just to put my notes so I don't feel like all my thoughts are overwhelming me. Tate, you're so cute right now trying to help out with hatching Crumble's eggs. That's so adorable. Uh, I think I'm ready to test this. I kind of want to see, I need more vines. We might have to, Lily, are you having fun being in a bush? 
Are you having fun being in a bush? That is so cute. Oh my gosh. As long as she's having a good time. Oh geez, and this thing's already done. That is one heck of a powerful little uh little tool there. Where are my vines? Over here. And I actually don't have very many vines, so we might have to go on a little expedition collecting up a ton of vines. Uh, which I have no problem with because that counts as a plant collecting expedition. Mm -hmm. You know how much I love those. But all right, so Tata is waiting for us. Let's grab, come on Tate. Come on. I think you two are gonna enjoy this project even though I can understand that you might be a little dubious and concerned for my well-being. All right, come on puppers. I know you can make it over that gate. All right. Hey Zoe, hey Aspen. Hey Alia. Hi Devin. How y'all doing? There we go. Okay, so the goal is to make the rope bridge. Hello, goats. <laughs> the goal is to make the rope bridge basically connect up across that ravine. And uh, Tate, I'm glad you're feeling like mountain climbing, but I'm not, so I'm gonna go around. <laughs> and that's really useful for us because that will also connect up parts of my home, like this tunnel that winds around quite a bit. There we go. To the other side of the zoo without having to go all the way down. So Tata, you have a brilliant plan here. I think we're gonna start kind of near that apple tree and go that direction. So Lily, Tate, I want you two to sit for just a minute. I can hear all of Junior's goats in their goat yard. That's so funny. And then basically I need to get my feather falling booties on. Ooh, we're gonna have to go to Twilight Forest to repair my stilly boots sometime soon. And let me grab Moss Slugger. I don't need the shears for the second. And we're just gonna kind of pummel our way straight through here. Dun 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 All right, now to see where we have ended up. But it's really fun because I got a little nervous um, thinking about the fact <laughs> I'm going, oh no, I destroyed something that had glowstone in it. One of my glowstone blocks disguised to look like dirt. Oh geez, thank goodness I'm wearing the featherfall boots. Oh, that's so cool. Look, and we're gonna head straight over there. Oh, do you guys hear all the crickets? That's awesome. Okay, this is gonna be a lot more fun than I thought. And you can see such a beautiful, beautiful bit of the sunsets from here. Oh, Zootessia has some of the best sunsets. Look, and you can see one of the woolly compass. Oh, we'll have to get a whole bunch of them and spread Henry's influence all the way over here. That'd be really cool. All right, so I think we'll just go kind of straight from here. Let me clear out a little bit of this so we have a wider area. We'll have to make a little formal, a little formal platform, I think, to kind of warn people like, this is Tata's walk, like Tata's rope bridge. Uh, use caution. And then hopefully I've lit this place up well enough. A skeleton isn't just gonna try to like, oh, there we go. <gasps> the beginning. Oh, should we make it one wide? I kind of want it just to be one wide. It's gonna go over the hummingbird exhibit. Oh, look, you can see the hummingbirds. <gasps> this is so cool. This might actually be the perfect beginning. Oh boy, here we go. I love hearing all the crickets come out too. But this might be the perfect beginning to how we can do treetop tours. <gasps> that was scary. That was so scary. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I didn't break the glass and just pummel my way through the hummingbird exhibit. Jeez Louise. Oh, and wait, are these normal vines or are these like fancy vines? They're ivy vines. Can you put ivy vines? I don't think you can, but let's see if you can put ivy vines on these. You cannot, unfortunately. Okay, that was so scary. I need like half a minute to sort of catch my breath because holy days. Oh look, and there's that owl hanging out in the out of the blue orchid garden. I need to do more spontaneous gardens like that because that would be really fun. Wow, I've never been so grateful for Featherfall boots before. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm terrified of heights too. So that was actually a little bit of a doozy for me. But all right, back up we go. 
I'm glad Lily and Tate didn't need to witness that. It would have been a little frightening if you ask me. What is this? <gasps> Our moss. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And up we go. Everything's fine, puppers. You don't need to wonder where I came from. Ooh, these are vines. Nice. Yeah, we might have to go around and just kind of find some of the wild patches of vines in the area and collect them up so that we can decorate the wooden grates with them. In fact, since I just tumbled to my doom, we might as well... Can I... Oh, you can put them on top! <gasps> my life is now complete. I can make a beautiful little line here. That's going to be awesome. All right, let's try this round two. But yeah, this might actually change how we can create a whole bunch of treetop tours in Zudesia. And I'm actually really excited. I hope one day I can do a bunch of fantastic, like, uh, treetop tours in some of the places where it's, like, really well maintained and the land is well taken care of because I love being up with the birds. I just always have. Look at that! Oh my gosh, that was so much easier. We needed, like, we have so many wooden grates left over. We can make a huge variety of, uh, of little rope bridges like this. I had no idea it was going to be that easy. I, I like geared myself up for something so much more dramatic. This is fantastic. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to make it safe next, but we also need to kind of carve out the interior to make a little bit of, there we go, an overlook because I did want to kind of turn this into a overlook where Tata could kind of like look out over, like we'll say he could look out over his followers. So that's gonna mean, where's Moss Slugger? There we go. Kind of hollowing out the bottom. I need to be careful not to remove, because I think right above us, yeah, right above us is how you get to the mushrooms. So I don't want to remove like the mushroom blockade, but like this, I wanted to be able to come over and kind of begin to see the Peafowl Cafe from this spot, which I think is cool. All right, there we go. Yeah, we don't want to go any higher on removing the dirt up there, actually. Because look, you're right below Mushroom Island's uh, bridge, which is kind of a cool location to be, to be honest. And we can kind of hollow this out a little bit more. Maybe make like, oh, we should have a little, a little cafe spot. <gasps> of course we should. We should have like a cute little cafe spot that could have restorative drinks. Cause no doubt that would rattle. Like I, I actually have, well, I, you know what? I say I want to go to treetop tours, but there is a place called Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina that has the mile high bridge. The bridge is not actually one mile off of the ground um, in terms of like you look over the edge and it's literally a mile down, but it is geographically a mile from like up in the air. Uh, it's hard to explain. Like when I first heard it, I thought it meant that the bridge was literally like a mile off the ground. It's not, it's a, like a couple hundred feet, I think, which is still quite daunting if you are me who is quite scared of heights, but it is not like an actual mile off the ground, but I can't even handle that bridge. So who am I to go around like, yeah, I would totally do a treetop tour, a pie in the trees. I totally wouldn't be scared. Lie lies i probably would be way too scared to do that uh but speaking of that i do think it'd be kind of cool to have maybe like a bridge leading over to that tree and then you could go down and get a better view of the peafowl and we have so many extra rope bridges now uh if we're gonna call those rope bridges i kind of want to because i like to imagine that this is like tightly woven rope that we could probably make it over there and have like a little crisscross over the cafe, which I think would be really fun. That would definitely be a great upgrade to the cafe. So let's maybe put down, we might have like another little path. It'd be like, if you wish, you can continue on and you can see what the peafowl are up to. So let's actually build our way out over there. And then we will have built two bridges for the day. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually, terrified of heights, but not even in a way where I'm consciously terrified of heights. I, my body just takes over and it's like, nope, 
You might think this is a cool idea. You might think it'd be fun to do a little vlog of you walking across this uh, bridge. But no, lady, you're terrified of heights and my knees will just give out. Poor Chips has had to, oh, oh no, I'm gonna have to remove that. Poor Chips has had to help me, like even just going upstairs or escalators sometimes, uh, if you can like look over the stairs and just see down into infinity. <laughs> That's not good for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of a panic. All right So what if we now we have done that and then where's the heart of the tree like right there, huh? So what if I come in here and Then what we need to do Can I put this down? Oh, I can! Oh, clever! So then we could actually make a pavilion! We could actually make the viewing piece like out of this! That is so cool! And I think we want to go maybe a little bit further down. Yeah, I think I want to go a little further down. This is so clever! I can't believe how much this is going to change how we do everything. Alright. And don't worry, I have an idea. We're going to move the vines over. Look at that beautiful view. <laughs> this is why I love our world glance up and see the twilight well i guess this would be the dawn light the greenery of the dawn light spreading through the sky stars still reflecting as the sun's light hasn't overtaken them we've got plants all around us oh <gasps> wow wow that's beautiful Okay, guys, I think I'm just gonna sit here peacefully for a minute and kind of embrace all of this while the sun rises. And then I will meet up with you guys here among the jungle leaves as we continue to find ways to build a little, uh, little treetop walk that can go over and visit with all of the peafowl from above. <laughs> oh, it looks like we had a bunny down there for just a second. And uh, I will see you guys next time. So if you could, do please leave a like for our successful adventure. And also, if you are afraid of heights, do let me know. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, you know what to do. And remember, guys, stay curious, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.